Hey there, YouTubers. I am now getting to part two of my water separator and desiccant air dryer for the air compressor. So I picked up a few parts here. Um, as you can see, I've got some Schedule 40 clear PVC. Got that on eBay, or not eBay, but Amazon, I think. I've got five pounds of color changing silica gel and then I picked up a few parts at Home Depot. So what we have here is just a two inch to two inch coupling. Then we have a two inch to, I think it's one and a quarter reducer. Then a one and a quarter to a, what is this? Um, one half threaded. And then we've got a two inch slip on to male adapter, two inch female, and then we've got another one of these reducers, which is the two inch to one and a quarter, one and a quarter to half inch thread, and then we've got our nipples for the hose attachments, the barbs. So basically, how this goes is we are going to take that, put it in there, take that, put it in there, take that, and screw it in there. Then we will do the same over here. We'll screw this one on here. Then have the reducer, another reducer, and that hose nipple. Then we will put that up on top of this tube, and then this will go on the bottom. So basically what we're left with is a clear tube and that is going to be filled with the silica gel, the color changing gel. Now I will put some kind of uh, mesh in the bottom so it doesn't go through the bottom and then through the top. And then basically we'll have the air coming from the compressor going through the water trap. Then it'll go come in the bottom of this, go through the silica gel, come out the top. Then it'll go to my regulator and filter which will then go to my hose reel. So uh, stay tuned, we'll get this put together and see how it works. Now, just a little tip when doing um, the PVC cement, make sure you get a good primer, good cement. This is gonna be under pressure. And since I did the hot glue inside to put this screen in here so the desiccant doesn't go through the uh, air lines, you wanna make sure you get this all cleaned out and smooth so there's no hot glue in between there because obviously hot glue gun is not going to be rated for pressure. So what we're going to do now is uh, take some of this primer, we'll put the primer around the outside of the piece that we're going to put in and then we'll also do the primer on the inside of the piece where it's going. And then once that has a second to dry then we'll get some PVC cement on there. Um, another tip too is depending on how tight your fittings are, once you push it in, you'll wanna hold it for a few seconds and make sure it's nice and tight because sometimes just the pressure of sticking that in there um, will make the piece back out. So if I just shove this in there and let go, 
it might back out and then not be fully seated. This is what we have going on now. So I've got the line coming from the water separator. It goes behind the little workbench here and you can see the line at the bottom right here. That line is going to go into the bottom of the desiccant tube. So we've got our reducers and the coupler to do the hose clamp right there. Then this tube is going to be filled with the silica gel, color changing, and then I've got on the top a, a slip to male threaded 2 inch, which is going to go into this. So I'm going to mount this down here, and then this will screw into it. And then basically what we have is the air going now through the bottom, going through the desiccant, then going to my regulator, which then goes up to my hose reel. And I decided to put the regulator and filter after the dryer. That way I can see if there's any moisture gathering in that, and then plus any little bits of um, desiccant or anything that happens to get through the screens it'll get caught in that filter instead of going through the hose and, and out to the um, to the actual tools. So pretty excited here. I've got to wait another hour or two before I can do a pressure test, um, make sure that the cement is fully dry, and then we'll fill it up with the desiccant. I do have our silica gel here, or desiccant, whatever you want to call it. I should probably call it silica gel since I can never say the word right. And here is a five pound bucket of the color changing. It starts off orange and then as it gathers moisture it'll turn green, hence the clear tube so I can keep an eye on it. And then once it is saturated then I can just depressurize the system, unscrew it from the top, dump it out and recharge it by baking it and then pour it back in or just add new depending on how much of this fits in there. So that should definitely cut down on the amount of moisture going through. It'll be nice to see, um, I don't know a good way to test it, but it'll be nice to see between the water separator and the desiccant tube just how much it, it reduces the moisture getting through the, to the tools. I will have a full supply list for this part down in the description, so please check that out if you want to make one. Uh, feel free to direct message me if you have any questions or add in the comments. I also have this uh, steel grating down here. I'm going to make a bit of a blast shield. I don't know exactly how I'm going to construct that just yet, but um, I'll get that around it so just in case it happens to blow, it'll just... Um, you know stay contained back here and plus being in the corner of the shop it's kind of contained back behind the workbenches and stuff so if it uh, does blow even standing here there probably wouldn't be a whole lot of shrapnel all right so what we've got here is the airline coming in to the desiccant tube and then it fills all the way up to the top. It then comes out of the top of the desiccant tube, goes into the regulator, then regulator and filter out to my tools. Fun stuff, pretty excited. I need to crank this down a little bit more, get a little bit tighter here, but it wasn't too bad, screwing in. And then uh, 
once that changes to green I'll just unscrew it and dump it out and put new in or recharge it by throwing it on a baking sheet you can throw it in the oven for a little while to dry it out that will definitely add to the water trap to get pretty much hopefully all of the moisture out of the air so especially when it comes time for sandblasting and paint I won't have to worry about getting fish eyes in the paint and getting the sandblaster clogged up so pretty stoked about that we'll give it a pressure test here in a couple minutes uh, don't forget to like and subscribe you can do so right down there at the bottom check out the description for price list I'll go ahead and also put a link to the first video making the water trap so you can watch that that's part one this is part two thanks for watching rock on guys do do some cool shit